let's look at the life cycle of one of the longest human nematodes, Dracunculus metanensis, aka guinea worm. Let's start here. This is an adult female worm, and she's probably already ready to release some larvae. So how is she gonna do that? She's gonna generate a blister on one of your lower appendages that's gonna feel hot and sting so bad that all you wanna do is stick it in a bucket of water, but that's what she wants you to do. Once you stick that foot in water, she's going to emerge and release a bunch of larvae into the water. Those larvae are super small, and they're gonna get eaten up by small aquatic predators like copepods. But again, that's what they want. The larvae are actually going to develop even further in the copepod. And then when a person comes along and drinks water with those infected copepods, they're going to ingest them, and the larvae will get into their body. Once ingested, those larvae are going to get out of the copepods, burrow out of your stomach, and get into your subdermal level, so underneath your skin, but not in any organ. 